Hi, everybody, and welcome to a new episode of Sunday Shout Out. And this week, I'm so excited to be having the horn section from the first track on my album, The Introduction, When Do I Do It? This is Andy, Gert, and Herman. Hi, guys. Hi, Helen. Hi, Helen. Hello. Hello. Thank you for coming together you. today. <laughs> it's Thank you so for inviting us. So good. I'm so happy. And we have had a little listen to the track together. And it was so great to watch your reaction to it because, of course, you recorded it, I think, wow, I think maybe a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a little yeah. while. That's my favorite bit. Yeah. Super. Yeah. <laughs> cool. cool. Yes. Wow. Great, great talk. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Digging it. Yeah. Well, cool. Absolutely. Sounds different than when we were yeah, recording. Yeah. <laughs> Super. Amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your efforts on the track. It sounds amazing. Sounds so good. Thank you. But it also sounds. Uh, great and a lot of work of producing. Yes, that's wow. Fabian. We've got live guitar on there. There's live bass added as well. Yeah. Also, who um, was playing the bass? And Seppi. Is mm -hmm. it Jojo? Yeah, Jojo is on okay. the bass. We got Seppi, Jojo. They came in and uh, recorded it live together in the studio. And then we added the horns on top. And then we have Chris Neuschmidt on guitar, just ah, like soloing yeah, out. Yeah. Um, and he did that remotely. And then you guys, you're in Upper Austria. So it was like, it's easy for you guys to get together at Andy's, wasn't it? And record it. Can you recall back to that time when you were recording it? Yeah, when I was listening, I could remember <laughs> the, <laughs> the lines. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, but not exactly, I think. But it definitely was in this room where we are actually. Yes was it so that's what we know yes yeah, we were sitting over there and yeah this uh one part was funny for my t for my uh tongue da -da 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 -da. it was a fast <laughs> tongue <laughs> it's, it's really funny yeah. uh that's fabian's programming fabian's ideas he comes out and he, he just yeah seems to create the most trickiest lines for people to play but you guys absolutely smashed it so <laughs> we love it did you record it um did you do it individually or did you do parts where you were together like what was your your process on approaching the, the recording no we were together all in the same room uh, amazing so playing at once yes oh, yes yeah, it's, it's, How? it's i love it's it better so much better because I guess it, it well it gives you that live that live feel because there's nothing better when you're alive on stage with the horns next to you so that that's super nice that that you did it that way because you guys work so closely together how many years have you known each other um and worked quite a long. Gerd and me we know each other since 25 years or something like that 25 really years yes wow long. we were 14 or 15 years old yeah wow that's true. In, in the brass band, in the local brass band, yeah. And Hermann, and we've played together if 20 band, years. Yeah, more than 20 yeah. years. Yeah, 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 yeah yes. more, also 20 years, 25 years nearly. Yeah. yeah. So we're playing in different bands yeah. together and meet each other yeah. again and again. Mm -hmm. And we were studying together. We were studying together. Yes. Oh, yes. Wow. We're studying. <laughs> <laughs> it's so clear when you play together that you, that you you sit in with each other so well, like harmonies wise, the playing wise, everything's so in sync. And we really enjoyed having your stems come back when you recorded, and it it was so awesome to to add it to the song. And to have that live feel. So you guys, you've worked together for 20, 25 years. Has it been a variety of styles over the years? Or have you found yourselves 
in similar genres gigging live? Mm. In the in the last 20, 25 years, we for sure we play played a lot of different styles. Big band, funk, soul music, pop music, jazz, uh, yeah, and <laughs> a lot of these things. But I, uh, I think we have our own sound. I think we have that, yes. I mean, it's it's always a mixture of, uh, we have to make, uh, or we try to make a living as musicians, so you sometimes yes. have to play what comes along, yeah. to play uh, what, whatever, what, what kind of music or what style. And yeah. we also go for our own direction with with own projects, but but it's always yeah. you know best now that it's not the easiest way to to play your own music. So yeah, but, but we also try to do this and yeah, keep that going. Definitely, like to, to push for your artistry and to really go where where your heart is and and to create the music that that you really love um have you got a favorite vibe a favorite style that you guys like to play together yeah i think we all are quite soul lovers or yeah. soulful musicians mm -hmm. and pop <laughs> <laughs> but the soul and pop yeah yes so what about you herman like have you got some favorite projects that you've that you've enjoyed playing on over the years yeah you are project Ah, thanks. <laughs> I was <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, but thank you. <laughs> cool. But I like to play big band with with many horns, and it's a good feeling playing in in big horn sections. Like how so, how so big? You mean not just the three of us? <laughs> <laughs> How big is the horn section? Are we talking? Is it like 20, 30 people? Is there more? Like... Yeah, big bands are 20 people, but uh, uh, it's horns are horns. It's uh, wonderful. Wow. <laughs> and what what type of music are you are you playing in those shows? Yes, when I play in the theatre or musicals, I have a big sound with my trombone and have a small small horns with four or five two trumpets uh, one trombone or uh, two saxophone is a, a different sound we we play uh in a big big band with 20 people but uh three horns is it's a cool sound yeah you can make really uh, a big sound and creative that's so cool what about you get have you got some projects and shows that you've really enjoyed over the years. Uh, yeah, I also do uh, uh, some theatre stuff, also with Herman together, and now I'm playing the, the musical Hair. Oh, cool! Maybe everyone, everyone know that knows that. Yeah, I also do some electro stuff with trumpet, where I play solely and and some loops. Uh, yeah, and we'll see. That's but, so cool. The, the best is when we play together, it, it's really in this way <laughs> and uh, to have a whole horn section. It's the most fun also uh, uh, for me because you can play very powerful with a very brass sound and you can play very smooth, which we, as Andy said, uh, we like very much. Mm. Maybe then I play flugelhorn. I love it. This is good because you're you're educating me <laughs> further on on horns and and what is possible as well for for horn playing. It's fantastic, Andy. What about you with your projects or favorite things that you've done over the well, years with sax? I think special in my uh, setting is the mixture of so many different uh, band settings and different artists, and that's. Also, what I really appreciated a lot because I think I'm not the guy who, who would play uh, one year and the other year with just one band or, or one style. And I really like the, the, the changing. I mean, it, it makes it sometimes difficult to change because you have the one day you play in one style and the other day it's can maybe completely different. And the changing is, is 
not too easy always, but but it's a it's a challenge, and I like this. Uh, some jazz singers, where I'm sideman or big band or a Hammond organ player here yeah. or the own band or whatever, and I'm always trying to set up different uh, surroundings from trying my own music out. I mean, if I'm not so much behind um, selling my music, but I'm just behind keep it going and trying new yeah. things to do this at my home here where we also recorded the, the whole section and, and well i hope we can do some more of this and i also tried to record a band recently here and oh wow it was, was fun great and what was fun? really oh sorry Go it's really a great a great studio you cannot see the whole room <laughs> but he has very good very good uh, equipment meanwhile it is it's a, like it's a, a, a it's a big room like really. a, it's a big true room. microphone <laughs> <laughs> all the equipment necessary <laughs> <laughs> only high end <laughs> <laughs> no it is it is really really good i i i went up and, and visited you um it was with martin Voss, and we came up to to andy's ah, house exactly. And we we did some uh, some writing and and also it was recording as well at the time, uh, recording some yeah some keys parts and some horn parts which was which was really great and yes it is a really lovely studio and in a beautiful setting as well <laughs> like the green Upper Austria it's so nice it's gorgeous it's more on the countryside yeah yeah I do remember doing the backward five gig uh with you guys when yeah. back in 2019 for jazz fest bean and that was really awesome to be up there with you live there was also the earth wind and fire project as well i remember with horns live too yeah. them, and 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 having that experience like i said earlier there's there's it's so good to have horns up there because they bring a completely different hitting feel live on stage and the the harmony and yeah just dynamically it's so nice Thank yeah it's, yeah <laughs> it's been fun it's yeah. been really fun so of course when I was creating the album and wanted to have horns of course I was going to ask you guys so it's been nice it's also I think it's special because uh get we know so long already and that's what we were starting to to work together we, yeah. we really were just to to hit one note exactly the same way and mm. so we don't have to really discuss what we're playing we just play and i think it's quite uh, together and, yes. and quite powerful as we know exactly how to to make the phrasing of something and, and yes. Herman also got in quite quite early yeah. and and it has quite the same feeling concerning this I can stuff. I can remember still remember when we started doing the thing. It was uh, we were very influenced uh, by British music. I, I would say ah, acid yeah. jazz, incognito, the brand new heavies, for example. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. and uh, I would say we 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 came from this uh, music a little and loved this music. And uh, as teenagers, as young teenagers, we tried to to sound a little like these guys and I bought the microphone and said wow Andy wow it's cool and Andy bought also a microphone and get yeah, wow and so we started uh, to record us and 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 I think that's the thing and that's what we do <laughs> yeah definitely i totally vibe with all of those british acts that you've just mentioned i yeah. i'm completely on the same wavelength with you guys and and yeah. i love this this is sort of like telepathy that you can kind of build up as musicians like when you work so closely with people for an amount of time, you can just kind of read each other's mind and like where you want to go. Um, and and also like you're saying about the hits and, and how you guys work so well together, you kind of don't have to discuss it so much. And I love how you can build that up as a musician and uh, the more that you play with, with people or create music. 
and also just being on the same wavelength you just know you just know what's needed for that piece in that moment hopefully <laughs> yeah <laughs> we try. i mean it's so. it's of course it's special in a horn section it's the, the main thing is just to become one yeah. and honestly we are not always behind the the song's message but yeah well we are just we try to to become one instrument yeah this is our challenge when we work that. on a song as a horn section yeah i love that a horn section should be one sound and not three instrument <laughs> yes. in our case it's not good when you when you would hear that the trumpet louder than the trombone and no saxophone it makes no sense it must mm -mm. be one blend so it yeah, yeah yeah we say blend for us it's the the blend and that's the best when you when you are playing and recording together sit together and feel this sound which comes also back from the wall in the room yeah, yeah recording mm -hmm. Well, you guys do it very well. <laughs> so, hurrah! <laughs> are you are you doing some recording sessions together soon? Have you got some other songs coming up? Uh, I'll have to write another one uh, for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <please. laughs> but you know, sometimes it's no. someone is calling and is asking for, I uh, can I do this? tomorrow <laughs> or <laughs> can you send it over this evening or something well, mm, we'll yeah. see but actually it's not so much but we hope it's, it's coming more mm, okay. definitely so get you're doing hair at the moment how long is that running for as a production ah uh, it's uh one month okay yeah and it's is it? it's also fun i love doing this 70s soulful rocky rock music mm. and it's cool yeah it's it's also a horn section not with this two guys it's with flute wow flute and trumpet yeah that's really cool makes makes fun <laughs> yes definitely <laughs> herman what are you up to at the moment we got a production on recording we play next week yeah, with so... our pastor and jessica stuff mm. five gigs and where there is also now a little connection of our linking friends. Yeah. Because Stefan and I wrote a piece for this, mm -hmm. this band also. Oh, cool. Are you yeah. going to perform that That's at the too. shows? Yeah. This band was quite um, busy during the lockdowns. They, they recorded two new albums. One really with a, with a British uh, composer and arranger named Ed Puddick. I don't know if you know him. Um, mm -hmm. And the other one is the Brazilian world music project with a Brazilian percussion player called Fernando Paiva. Yeah. 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 And we play his music and for this program, Stefan and I wrote a, a piece together. But that sounds incredible. I love to, to work on pieces together. It's better than just writing alone. And I mean, I don't know if you were working, but if you really send it off, you you have some ideas and work them out and then you it's not really finished and you send it off and get it back it's like christmas you get a present but don't know what you get and then it sounds different and, and there is our new ideas in it and that when we had the programmed ideas and then sent it to the instrument that we were working with whether it was steve on guitar or whether we had um joe on bass uh, and also with you guys with the horns, it was like, let's give you what's here already, but please make it so much better, you know, and 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 make it further alive with your your input. And yeah, it's so exciting when you do open up those stems and place them into the project. Thank you. Emma. Yeah, it just brings it more alive. <laughs> it just does, and that's exactly how I felt felt with you guys. I would love to be able to find a way to like have a mega horn section <laughs> get you guys down as well and like play band. very but yeah there we go we'll have the helen and my big band <laughs> the <laughs> funkalicious yeah. album big band <laughs> yeah that would be awesome do you remember the first time we all met the four of yeah. us wow yes <laughs> I when remember. it was in kirchdorf for a in the beautiful music school. Yes, in the, yes. really, in the beautiful yes. music school in, in Kirchdorf. Mm -hmm. 
with Stefan. With Stefan. It was with Stefan. That was, yeah. I think, one of the first times was, I'd been to Austria. It was a, yeah, it was I a think so, yeah. cool gig. Uh, mm -hmm. I can remember. Yeah. yeah. Was that was a really off? cool gig. Mm, so yeah. it was labeled as Backward Five featuring Helena May. And I came yes. over with Stefan. And we had, yeah, we had uh, Seppi on drums. Also, Oli. Oli, um, yes. is it Kirschbaumer? Yes. And Cherry Tree, right. Mr. Mr. Cherry Tree, I call him. Um, Johnny Somero was actually on guitar that evening. So he's. Yes, yes. <laughs> so yeah, it all kind of like all the pieces like came together. And then the wonderful horns. It was super I'm up there with <laughs> Stefan doing the Part of Me album. Mm. Yes, yes. Memories, God. That's the, the place where we, both of us, are teaching also. I see. It was a, was a music school. They had a little festival going. Yes. Yeah, it, it was amazing. And one of the first experiences for me in, in Austria. And it was a real buzz around it, a real appreciation uh, with the audience. And it was it was nice to experience that. And it's very much the start of a, of a great journey. Uh, yeah, there's so much happened since then. Like, it's funny when you, when you meet so many people that you're then going to go on and work with in the future and have so many great experiences with. So, yes. Did you think that you Funny. would like live in Austria then? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I would. It is really funny like, where your where your path goes, but I, I'm so thankful for that. I'm so thankful for the introduction. Um, I'm meeting Stefan in London. And then Stefan was like, hey, I think you should to come and sing in Austria. And yeah, come to Vienna as well and, and do well what has been lots of shows now and getting my name out there as as it were in the the industry in Austria and and yeah to meet so many great people that have now are now on my album yeah I had no idea back then that I would be where I am right now but I'm, I'm so happy for it like it's been it's been a nice journey really really good journey cool Cause I wanted to write this album for such a long time and then to have all the, the pieces come together and then be real now. It's good. It's a nice feeling. <laughs> You've done it. I know. I can't yeah. believe it. No, Stefan was very much like, go, like go spread your wings, like fly, like go and work with the people that you want to work with. And I thought originally that I would write the album with Stefan but it would have been a completely different album looking back on it now. I think it would have taken more of that, that jazz funk, like big band uh, arrangement sort of style. But I knew myself, I really wanted to go more on, on the funk pop. So it was nice to have that creative freedom for myself. And he was like, go do it. Like, go, you don't need me. That's what he said. You don't need me to make this album. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll, yeah, be brave, get out there. So yeah, there's 19 altogether, mm -hmm. 19 musicians altogether on this album. Wow. It's epic, yeah. So it's, it's, <laughs> a it's a big band. Big band album. It, I did it's actually, I created a big band. <laughs> <laughs> they're not all playing on every single track, but they're there. They're all, the, the pieces are there of 19 people. Yeah, it's very epic. Great. Super, very, very happy. And thank you again for being on the record. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> for asking us. Of course. Of course. So yeah. thank you so much. Thank you, Helena. Thank you to Andy Gitt and Herman for joining me on this week's Sunday Shout Out. It's been amazing. And again, I'm so happy that you're on the record. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thanks. I'll catch you guys soon. Thank Ciao. you. Bye -bye. Ciao. 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 Ciao.